Given the prior probabilities, the probability of A and the probability of B, and given the conditional probability, the probability of B given A, we can systematically compute the posterior probability, that is, the probability of A given B, using the Tableau approach in the following example. The stock price of Huli per share is considered. The probability of it going up is 90%. Given that the stock price went up, the market was good 75% of the time, fair 20% of the time, and bad 5% of the time. When the stock price went down, those numbers were 60, 30, and 10% respectively. Given each market condition, find the probability of the stock price going up and down. Extracting all the given information, we have that the prior probabilities are the probability of the stock price going up is 0 0.9, and the probability of it going down is 1 minus the probability of it going up, which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9, which equals to 0 0.1. The conditional probabilities are the probability of a good market given that the stock price went up is 0 0.75, the probability of a fair market given that the stock price went up is 0.2. The probability of a bad market given that the stock price went up is 0.05. The probability of a good market given that the stock price went down is 0.6. The probability of a fair market given that the stock price went down is 0.3. And the probability of a bad market given that the stock price went down is 0.1. We will need to compute the posterior probabilities. For part A, we will calculate the probability of the stock price going up and down given a good market. Recall that the probability of the stock price going up is 0 0.9, the probability of the stock price going down is 0 0.1, the probability of a good market given that the stock price went up is 0 0.75, and the probability of a good market given that the stock price went down is 0 0.6. Let B represent a good market. Then we have the following table. For each outcome A, we will use the given conditional probability and prior probability to find the joint probability, which will help us calculate the posterior probability. So for the outcome that the stock price goes up, we have the conditional probability 0 0.75 times the prior probability 0 0.9, which gives us the joint probability 0 0.675. For the outcome that the stock price goes down, we have the conditional probability 0 0.6 times the prior probability 0 0.1, which gives us the joint probability of 0 0.06. Adding up the two probabilities 0 0.675 and 0 0.06, we can obtain the probability of a good market, which comes out to be 0 0.735. Using this, we can now calculate the posterior probability by dividing the joint probability by the probability of a good market. The resulting posterior probabilities are as follows. The probability of the stock price going up given a good market is 0 0.918, and the probability of the stock price going down given a good market is 0 0.082. To check your answer, the sum of the two posterior probabilities should give you 1. Therefore, given a good market, the probability of the stock price going up is 91.8%, and down is 8.2%. For part B, we will calculate the probability of the stock price going up and down given a fair market. Recall that the probability of the stock price going up is 0 0.9, the probability of the stock price going down is 0 0.1, the probability of a fair market given that the stock price goes up is 0 0.2, and the probability of a fair market given that the stock price goes down is 0 0.3. Let B represent a fair market. For each outcome A, we will use the Tableau approach to calculate the posterior probabilities. For the outcome that the stock price goes up, we have the conditional probability 0 0.2 times the prior probability 0 0.9, which gives us the joint probability 0 0.18. For the outcome that the stock price goes down, we have the conditional probability 0 0.3 times the prior probability 0 0.1, which gives us the joint probability 0 0.03. Adding up the two joint probabilities, we have 0 0.21, the probability of a fair market. Using this, we can divide the joint probability by the probability of a fair market to get the posterior probabilities. 
So we have 0 0.18 divided by 0 0.21, giving us the posterior probability 0 0.857. And we have 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.21, giving us the posterior probability 0 0.143. Checking our answer, we can see that they sum up to 1. Therefore, given a fair market, the probability of the stock price going up is 85.7% and down is 14.3%. Lastly, for Part C, we will calculate the probability of the stock price going up and down given a bad market. Recall that the probability of the stock price going up is 0 0.9, the probability of the stock price going down is 0 0.1, the probability of a bad market given that the stock price goes up is 0.05 and the probability of a bad market given that the stock price goes down is 0.1. Let B represent a bad market. For each outcome A, we will use the Tableau approach to calculate the posterior probabilities. For the outcome that the stock price goes up, we have the conditional probability 0.05 times the prior probability 0.9, which gives us the joint probability 0.045. For the outcome that the stock price goes down, we have the conditional probability 0.1 times the prior probability 0.1, which gives us the joint probability 0.01. Adding up the two joint probabilities, we have 0.055, the probability of a bad market. Using this, we can divide the joint probability by the probability of a bad market to get the posterior probabilities. So we have 0.045 divided by 0.055, giving us the posterior probability 0.818. And we have 0.01 divided by 0.055, giving us the posterior probability 0.182. Checking our answer, we can see that they sum up to 1. Therefore, given a bad market, the probability of the stock price going up is 81.8% and down is 18.2%. Here's an exercise that you can try. Remember to pause the video before checking your solution. Good luck!